Nikita Hudgens and welcome back to the Voice Behind the Voice podcast. If you are watching this on YouTube, please like, subscribe, share. Um, if you're watching this on or listening to this um, over a podcast, make sure that you click that support button and give us a monthly donation that fits your budget. It would greatly appreciate it. Um, building our community that's what we're trying to do and um i I just really really appreciate it if you if you tap that support button and did that um so we are on episode 38 this is part one of the boundaries series um so we started off with self-actualizing well we started off this podcast has been through some things so (laughs) started off as um my kids, my money, my time, because at that moment, all I could really think about was those three things, and um, I had, you know, I had just been praying that um, God would help me to see what it is He really wants me to do, um, how I could really serve the world, and podcasting came up, prayer, I have a prayer podcast, that was like the big thing, but I had already started this when I prayed that prayer. Um, I and I eventually changed this one to um, a self improvement uh, podcast, and um, I started digging a little deeper into self actualization because at the time that is what was on my mind. When I started this podcast, that was something that I had just recently learned, um, and after doing a few episodes, I was like. I'm going to talk about this. Like, I have to talk about this. I have to learn more about it. I have to share what I know. And in doing all that, I came up with this idea called self-protocol. Self-protocol is um, a method and requirements that you, um, you authentically design for yourself. You create the method and requirements for yourself. Um, you need to know your worth. You need to know who you are. You need to know what you have to offer. And um, the five phases are committing to your own values, setting your own standards, drawing your own boundaries, uh, communicating your own limitations and expectations, as well as uh, respecting the protocol. You're respecting yourself and others. I also threw in um, later standing up for yourself, um, standing up basically for your protocol, and that has a lot to do with boundaries, standing up for your beliefs. So you'll see that in the next few weeks, I'll be talking, I'll be adding beliefs in there where it wasn't before. Um, So with boundaries, um, this is part one, and um, we are... I'm going to talk about the point of having boundaries. What is the point of having boundaries? So having boundaries is very important when it comes to self-protocol because once you know what you want um, and you have, um, you know what you require, what you want out of life, what you require out of life, um, you, you come up with these values and then you basically set the values in place and action comes out of them. So using, um, and that's standard. So you have a value, you have value. So let's just take one solid value, um, motherhood. Let's not, let's go deeper than that. Let's say relationships. I value my relationships. Um, motherhood is a relationship. Relationship goes a little more, I guess it's not as deep. I guess motherhood would be taken in D. Whatever. Um, so we have relationships. I value my relationships. So it is a standard for me to make sure that the people that I am, um, to make sure that those people that um, of the relationships that I value know that I value their relationships. Always making sure that they know that I value our relationship. That is a standard because I know that once I put that in place, um, I have a sisterhood, and we. I I know that I have a sisterhood. She knows that I see her as a sister. I've set that in place, and we're going to continue living through our relationship, 
knowing that we have a sisterhood and and doing what we can now this is boundaries we do what we can to make sure that we don't mess up that sisterhood and that is so important because when you have values they fortify the standards so it's always going to be there's always going to be a strength in that knowledge that we are sisters because I have boundaries around it. There's things that I will do. There's things that I will not do. You see, so there's things that we can do, like we can laugh and we can joke and everything, but, but there are things that we both in our lives, we know each other's value. And we know um, at this point in our relationship, we have values that, um, that meet up, that match up. Um, and we hold those standards and we um and we we have boundaries we know what lines to cross and what lines that we cannot cross by any means necessary so when you have boundaries they fortify your standards and they secure your values that is why it's so important that is the point of having boundaries because you want your standards to be strong and you want your values to to be protected all right um Basically, um, in all of this, this whole self boundaries, self actualization, all of this, I want you to understand that it is very important for you to know your worth. This, even if you're not even trying to really get into the whole self actualization thing, which um, I mean, not everybody, not everybody really, not everybody cares. Um, what their full potential is. Some people are like, I'm cool. I'm just going to go day to day and do what I got to do. But when it comes to those who actually have that need for self-actualization, um, it's very important that you know your worth. And when you know your worth, outside opinions cannot hinder what you have going on. Um, when you know your worth, it's like having a map. Um, not just having a map, but having a destination. Standards is having the map, okay? Um, but you have a destination. When you know your worth, you're able to create values for yourself and to create standards and boundaries. And you're, and also when you know your worth, you are confident and you're bold um, because you, you understand that people are going to have to know. Because people are going to have to know you can't step to me like that anymore. Because I have, I have learned what my worth is. You can't just, <laughs> you can't just talk to me any kind of way anymore. Because I know who I am. I know who I belong to. I know where I'm going. And when you know where you're going, you know your destination. Um, it's easy to say, okay. And and you know what? And look, sometimes your map is blank in the beginning. Because no one's been there before. No one, and if they have been there before, they didn't write it out. So this is your journey, your journey. And you use your um, past experiences and um, you use um, the relationships that you have and you use what you're worth, your values, your standards, and you create that map for your journey but you have to have a destination and that is your worth and when you know your worth you have a sense of self-respect about you that you don't just let anybody treat you talk to you any kind of way so that's it um, for boundaries that's part one I'm also going to be talking about the purpose of having boundaries and how to consider and accept other people's boundaries. So that's what I'm talking about this week. Um, go ahead um, and check out my dynamic uh, Calm for Kids prayer podcast called The Prayerful Dynamic. Uh, it is on a different channel. Um, you can go ahead to um, follow that on any platform at Dynamic Calm for Kids. And... Um, if you want to get to it quick, uh, I have links in the bio for it, and um, it'll be up at the end of this video. Also, huge shout out, I'm working on um, virtual Bible study. It's my VBS for um, this summer, July 12th through 16th, 19th, 19th 
through 23rd, I have lots and lots of experience directing Vacation Bible School, teaching Vacation Bible School, um, planning Vacation Bible School, um, <laughs> struggling with Vacation Bible School, and I'm taking all of that and I am creating what I have. I'm doing what God has called me to do. I remember there were so many times people would be like, why are you doing this? Why are you, why are you, why do you let them put you through all this and do, like, why are you doing this? I said, because God, if God did not call me to do this, I would not be doing it. If I didn't have a burning in my heart to teach children, I would not be doing this. And um, summer is just always my favorite time because I grew up teaching and directing vacation Bible school. So, um who knows? I'm thinking about doing it every season, but you know, whatever. I took it. I took it out of vacation Bible school because I don't want there to be any like you know extra stuff. I just it's virtual Bible study. It used to aggravate me that people would always say vacation Bible study, and I'd be like, no, it's vacation Bible school, and then I'd be like, but it's not it's school. Okay, so I'm doing <laughs> virtual Bible study. Um, it's fully online. It's two weeks. It's free. Um, sign your kids up. I'm talking about everything from emotions to education to respecting your parents um, to teamwork. <clears throat> off every like everything. <clears throat> sorry, everything you could think of. I'm talking about it, and I'm talking about how you can shine your light as a disciple of Christ throughout those things in your daily life. So. Um, <laughs> Go ahead, it's ages 5 to 8 and 9 to 12. It will be two separate classes, two weeks long. Um, if you have a desire to teach um, or just to entertain or, like, educate, you know, the children, make a little video, like a ten, 10 minutes. Don't make it forever because if it's too long, nobody's going to watch it. But um, make a quick video of... A, a, your favorite nutritious snack or your favorite um, type of exercise you do some yoga stretches some Pilates um, some running you can have you know one of your family members record you doing like running drills or something like that um, something that you feel like the kids would we all have something to offer but if you feel like you have something to offer children ages 5 to through 12 upload the video to BBS <laughs> upload the video to YouTube uh, if you don't want to share it publicly you can make it um, unlisted where only the people who have the link can see it send it to me um, we will approve it and if it doesn't make it in time we will use it again so the more videos I get the more security I have knowing that I can do this another season so keep sending in videos um, I'll try my best to make them match to, um, or I'll a ask someone to help me, um, match them to the subject. And yeah, and we're just going to have a great time. So go ahead and check that out um, at Dynamic Comfort Kids as well. You can actually see it. It will be in rotation in the stories in basically all of my accounts. So if you follow me on any accounts, go ahead and... Um, and watch for that that virtual Bible study um, graphic, and it'll tell you whatever information it has in it. Okay, so thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Like this video, subscribe, check out the rest of the podcast, and check out my prayer podcast as well. And I will see you guys again next time. Thank you so much for being here.